What's happening everybody, this is MacBoy from MacBoy Productions and today I'm gonna show you some real real cool like every single time. Now this is an extension from the application that I reviewed not too long ago called Videator which was really 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 popular according to you guys. So this is called Imaginator or Imaginator if you want to call it the better way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Alright. As you can see, it has almost the exact same interface as Videator. The only difference is, is that Videator handles videos and Imaginator handles photos. You can see on the left side here, you got your library of effects you can apply to, to your canvas. You can also view the effects in visual mode or whatever you want to call it, but this is much, much better. And this is the first tab, which only has your favorites or your preset library here. Custom. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay, going back to the effects tab, let me let me add some random effects here. Maximum. All right, don't know what that does. Tile puzzle. Okay, pretty cool. Bloom. Not, not bad. Not bad. Tile. Not bad. Glass. We got multiply, we got shader material, we got twirl, we got gloom, I can do that already, glass distortion, spotlight, it's, it's nice. It's very, very, very nice. And the good thing about it is, Imaginator also has very basic effects like black and white or sepia. I mean, that just saves a lot of time, so you don't have to wait to launch Photoshop, to import the image, and to unlock it and things like that. All you gotta do is drag this image into the Imaginator icon, the window opens up and select black and white. Very, very simple. And just like in Videator, you can take any, any effect in the entire library and then adjust its settings individually. It's really, really nice. I mean, this is the twirl distortion effect and I can adjust the radius of it, the angle of it. It's, it's really, really, really nice. And once you're done with your photo, all you have to do is click on this icon right here and it will save the image as it is to a certain destination. There's a lot more it can do. You can check it out for yourself from the link down below. That's Imaginator from Stone Software. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see every single one of you next time right here on MacBoy Productions.